Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another interesting video. Today we are going to solve a SQL question which has been asked by one of the big tech companies and it's got to do with numbers. It's a very fascinating question with a very interesting solution. So let's jump right into the question. So I have this table okay, with list of numbers or IDs. So I have 1, 2, 3, 6, 7 and 9. Okay. So you basically have a few numbers missing like for example, 4 is missing, 5 is missing, 8 is missing, right? And what we need to show in the output is this. So I want to show 1, 3, 6, 7, 9, 9. What this means is, so from 1 to 3, we have continuous numbers, right? Without any breaks. So I want to show the left column as 1 and the right column as 3. After that, we have a break, 4 and 5 are missing. Then again, we have another continuous stream of numbers, 6 and 7. So the second row should show 6 on the left and 7 on the right. And the final row should show 9 and 9. Why? Because 8 is again missing. And then from 9, we have a continuous stream of numbers, but only one number, 9. There is no next number. So both the left and right have to be populated with 9. Okay. So this is the goal. Uh, let's see how we can tackle it. If we think about it intuitively, uh, so if you see the numbers on the left, right, 1, 6 and 9, right, on the left side, what do you guess? So basically, these are the numbers where, if you see, the previous number is missing. For example, before the 1, 0 is missing, before the 6, 5 is missing, before the 9, uh, 8 is missing, right? So how can we show these numbers in SQL. So let's think about it. So let me select everything from the table. Okay. And uh, let me say where. So the previous number is missing, right? So if ID is the column here, so ID minus one is missing from the list, right? We want to see those numbers. So we'll say where ID minus one, not in. And we want to see ID minus 1 is not in this particular table. So we could say select whatever values here. Right? We could say ID here because there is no repetition or we could say distinct ID from this table, cricket.numbers. Okay. So what this query will essentially do is, so for the column ID, it will do a minus 1 and check if that minus 1, right, that number is not in the table. So essentially, if 0 is not in the table, 1 should show up, 5 is not in the table, 6 should show up, 8 is not in the table, so 9 should show up. Let's run this query. What do we get? So we get 1, 6, 9, which is essentially the left hand side of this uh, output that we want. So we have progressed one step. All right. So similarly, right, if I have to again just uh, select everything from the table. Okay. Similarly, what do you think about the right side? Right side, right? These three are the numbers where the following number is missing. For example, 3, 7 and 9 are there. For 3, 4 is missing. For 7, 8 is missing. And for 9 also, the following number is missing. So here, the only difference is the next number is missing or ID plus 1 is missing. So if I just uh, substitute ID minus 1 by ID plus 1 and check what are the numbers for which the following number or ID plus 1 is missing, then we get 379 in the output, which is essentially the right hand side of the table, right output table. So now by just doing ID minus 1, ID plus 1, we could get the left and right. How do we combine these two into a single query? We can use the which statement. So for id minus 1, I would put it into a with statement. So I would say, let's say with a as. So this is the first table. And you could put a comma and actually feed in another with statement as well. So I would say b as, this is how the syntax works. And within that, I literally copy paste the same query with only one minor change, which is, let me just shorten this a little, which is, so in the second query, we'll check for id plus 1. That's the only difference, okay? So with AS, uh, the first 
query and with b as the second. So you don't need to write a second width. And then you could just select a dot id comma b dot id from a comma b right you could write the query like this so essentially we are trying to find all the combinations let's see what we get so now we will get like about nine rows as you see we get a lot of random rows as well but we know one thing one condition that we need to put which is going back to the output always the number on the left should be either less than or equal to the number on the right okay so we can insert that condition here so i would say where a dot id less than or equal to b dot id so when i run this i still get six rows if you see but we know we almost have the output so we have the one three row here the six seven row here the nine nine row here so now a simple way to just display those outputs is if you want to show just the first values for for say one for the six and for the nine uh, i'll just do a group by a dot id so if i run this i get the desired output one three six seven nine nine which is exactly what we want in the output this is one way of doing it but if not going back to this output how could we reach the final destination so for for each of the left hand numbers for one there is one three there is one seven there is also one nine but i want to show only the first combination so we could use something like row number which i have taught you before so for example i could say row number over so a partition by a dot id okay and order by b dot id give it an alias name row num okay row number should have this brackets okay so now when we run this so now we see for 1 and 3 row number is 1 for 1 and 7 row number is 2 1 and 9 row number is 3 again when a new number comes on the left row number resets to 1 because we are partitioning by a dot id okay and uh, similarly when it resets to 9 on the left we have the row number again as 1 so now all we need to do this is put this whole thing into another which statement okay so i will say put a bracket here say with c as the whole query because yeah and now i could simply say select star from c or let me just select uh, okay let's give this an alias name you can give it b bid okay now I could simply select id comma bid from C where the column we created was row num. So we could say row num is equal to 1. So by running this we get the output we decide for right. So this is option B. Why did I do bid was because if I remove for example this alias name and I just select id comma id from C it will show an error because we are literally naming the same column two times we have a duplicate column so to offset that i am already giving it an alias name here bid and i am using the new column here then we'll get the output okay so tricky question hope you enjoy the solution think about it i'll see you again in another video till then take care